tutorial for the Zoe Coat Hanger Storage Bag. It uses a full size adult coat hanger. It has a nice sit across and a nice deep pocket. And it has no raw seams. And this is what you'll need. You'll need fabric for the lining, fabric for the outer, a 24 inch nylon zip and a small piece of ribbon. And this is how you make it. Take one piece of your outer fabric and measure 28 centimetres from the bottom and put a mark and repeat for this side and put a mark and then draw a line across and then cut across this line. And I've done exactly the same for one piece of the lining fabric. Place your outer top piece face upwards. Take your zip with the tab facing down and place it along the bottom edge. And make sure it's nice and straight. Then take your lining for the top and place it right sides together on top. Again, line up your edges and then clip into place. I've clipped the zip all along there. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine, pop my zipper foot on and then sew all along there. I've sewn all along and now I'm going to open it out match up all the edges take it over the, to the iron and press and then I'm going to top stitch all along there I've top stitched it and now take your bottom half of your front of your bag and make sure that your pattern is running the same way, especially if you're using directional fabric. Flip it over so right sides are together and then line it up bottom of that edge with the bottom of the zip. Then carefully turn it over make sure the edge is there take your lining fabric and place it right sides together on top like a big sandwich and then once you once you've got all lined up clip into place and then we'll take it over the sewing machine we'll put our zipper foot on and we'll sew all along there i've clipped it and now i'm going to put my zipper foot on and i'm going to start there and sew all along there as we did with the other side once you've sewn your zipper into place open it out Match up all the edges and then take it to your iron and press. And then we're going to top stitch all along there as we did there. Now your front is complete. Take the other two pieces of fabric and place one on top of the other. Line up the edges. Then place your front with a zipper on. And lie it on top. Carefully line up all the edges. You'll notice that the front is now shorter than the back. Simply trim away excess so all pieces are now the same length. Open your zip about halfway 
and then place your back piece right sides together, line up all the edges and clip into place. Find the centre of your fabric, then draw a 10 centimetre line across the middle, quarter of an inch from the bottom edge, and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine, start there and sew along that line. Once you've sewn along that line, clip it over, Take your remaining piece of lining fabric and place right sides together on top. Line up all your edges and then find the centre of the fabric once again and draw a 10 centimetre line along the bottom, a quarter of an inch from the bottom edge. I've clipped it all the way around and now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and starting there at the end of the black line, sew along there and stop, up to there and stop and we're leaving a gap there for the top of the coat hanger. Start again there all the way around and stop and then right to the edge of your black line and stop. Make sure that you do not sew on that black line. Once you've sewn all the way around, cut off the excess zip each side, snip the corners and clip the curves. Now we're going to turn it through the gap at the bottom. Once you've sealed up the gap at the bottom, it's time to turn it the right way by pulling it through the zip. Pop your coat hanger in and then carefully fold the raw edges at the top over and then hand stitch into place. Finally, add your ribbon and that's your sewing coat hanger storage bag all finished.